All right, we're live. All right. All right, cool. So welcome, 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 guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is Jaden Johnson. I'm also known as Mr. Health and Wellness. Uh, today, we have a live feed with Penny. She's a new member of Camp Wellness, and I wanted to uh, showcase her so she can share a little bit about her background, uh, some of her goals, and her expectations from Camp Wellness. Uh, first and foremost, I want to say thanks to everybody who are participating in the 100-person detox challenge. Uh, you guys came in today and you swamped us, man. We sold out of everything. So I want to thank you guys for your continued support. I will be posting a live broadcast uh, in later today or possibly earlier tomorrow to tell you guys the details about how to win 100 bucks. and also give you more instructions about the detox process or uh, how I do the process. So without further ado, like I said, we have Miss Penny. She's a new member. So first and foremost, uh, Penny, how'd you hear about me? And how'd you hear about Camp Wellness? I actually heard about you um, through one of your current members, Jamil Chapman. Okay. Okay. So after you heard about me in a program, what decided, what made you decide that you wanted to inquire about it? You know, when Jamil reached out to me, it was actually all serendipitous because I was on a business trip, but prior to the business trip, I was already thinking about what can I do to um, start my fitness routine. Okay. Um, I, or I had one previously, and then I was slack and got off of it. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I was actually thinking, you know, during that time, what can I do? So when she reached out to me and she told me just a bit of her story, mm -hmm. um, you know, she was like, oh, the picture will be posted soon, but it's it's real and it works. Okay. So that's what gave me um, the, you know, the extra oomph to okay. go ahead and reach out. OK, before this program, how long had you tried before? I mean, did you try anything, uh, any other programs? You know, I am like a serial um try something person. Right. Well, I'll say this, not that I try it, but oftentimes I would buy the products and okay. then I would get freaked out because I'm like, okay, how would this product really work on the inside of my body? You know, given all of the, you know, things that I'm going through physically. So right. I would typically learn about programs and even go and buy programs, but mm -hmm. then I would never commit. However, okay. I must say, um, what did work for me is when I did get a personal trainer mm -hmm. and we had a really great relationship going. And that is when I did lose about 20 pounds. OK. OK. So you guys lost 20 pounds in about what window of time? Oh, my gosh. Ooh, I think it may have been about three, four months. OK. That, that we lost that weight. OK. Were you satisfied? I was. I was okay. satisfied in terms of the relationship that we had, me and my personal trainer. I will tell you the thing that I struggled with and the thing that was so appealing to me about your program is that you also had the nutrition side of it. Okay. So my personal trainer was awesome. He still is awesome. Shout out to my personal trainer inside, um, <laughs> you know, but it was just that I knew that I needed that additional um, portion, which, um, actually is just a nutrition piece. Okay. So you, um, you, you came on board. Why did you feel the time was now to commit? You know, a lot of people kind of drag their feet. They think, uh, you know, they really want to do it, but they never really start. So what made you decide, okay, this is what I want to do. And I want to do it now. Well, you know, because number one, I, I saw that my body had already started changing, going back, regressing, okay. you know, whereas I may not have gained a lot of weight. I did gain some of the 20 pounds back, but just the way that my body, the shape, the inches, okay. they were coming back mm -hmm. and my clothes, you know, they were not fitting me the way that I wanted them to fit me. And, you know, I was looking in the mirror and I wasn't pleased. And so, you know, it was like, wait a minute. Um, you know, you started this journey because of health reasons and the benefit or the byproduct, of course, you know, is you may look better in clothes or whatever, and that's all good. But I was just like, okay, 
if my body is changing, you know, where I can see it in my clothes, just imagine what's going on on the inside. Right. So that's when I was like, you know what? Um, it's now, you know, go ahead. It's an investment. Um, mm -hmm. Do it. Right. And so there was just no question about it. And I'm just grateful that I'm blessed enough to, you know, be able to make a decision like that um, and have the opportunity and, and then invest in myself. Right. So what are some goals you're looking to accomplish? Well, certainly I want to definitely lose weight. Um, so I do want to actually physically see some pounds go. Um, I also um, I'm looking for, forward to increased energy. And I mm -hmm. can tell you just in one week, I have felt more energy. Um, I've been more energized. Mm -hmm. And so also just looking for um, just all around better, um, creating better eating habits. Mm -hmm. Because that's something for me that I struggle with. Um, you know, just cooking and being consistent about it versus taking the easy route and saying, you know what, I'm hungry. Let's just go in and buy something or let's go out and eat. Okay. So that's what I'm looking for. Okay. So how was I able to earn your trust that I could take you to the finish line in this journey? What was it about me? What was the it factor? Well, I'll tell you, um, and I think I briefly shared that with you via, I think, maybe text. Okay. But, you know, I am like a stalker uh, <laughs> once, once you know, I get fixated on something. So Jamil told me about the program. You know, I hadn't seen her, um, nor did I see any pictures, you know, but I was like, okay, you know, so she sent me your link. Mm -hmm. And so it's sort of kind of like when you go visit, you know, or you're looking for a product, you read the reviews, right? Okay. So that's where I went. I went and I really looked at the photos, the before, the after, the testimonials, you know, and it looked like real people, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and I was like, you know, I'm a real person. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not looking for a quick fix. It looks like these folks, based off of what they're sharing, you know, they put in work, mm -hmm. uh, but it's a program that, you know, um, doesn't just seem fly by the seat. Right. And so that's when I was like, okay, he seems to be organized. He seems to have a game plan and it works. Right. Um, and so that's when I was like, okay, you know, I'm willing to invest in him so mm -hmm. that I can invest in myself. Okay. Okay. So, you know, it's not an easy process. Things get tough throughout the transition of the program. Um, what would cause you to give up? What do you think would cause you to give up? You know, the distractions, right? Mm -hmm. um, the biggest thing that I think would cause me to give up, so to speak, um, would be you know, family, medical issues where I may have to physically leave and go and intervene mm -hmm. um, for a short period of time or my personal um, medical issue. If it gets, you know, if something comes up where it's I'm unable to join the team when it comes to the exercise mm -hmm. or, you know, the, the routine of the eating, you know, is taken away because doctors are saying, you know, you can't. Okay. So when I say give up, you know, I don't like that, that terminology, but what would cause me to stop would truly be things that, you know, are medically related um, or family related. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I know you, you shared all that stuff, but none of that stuff is an excuse. I'm always hold my line and hold you accountable. Um, I can say that one thing about myself is I'm really consistent. So if I'm an a-hole, I'm an a-hole to everybody, uh, but it's all love. I think that when it comes to your health, you should never put your health on hold, no matter what's going on in your life, no matter what your health conditions that you have. Um, you can, If we continue that same cycle, uh, we will never get ultimately healthy. We'll always stay the same. So what I do is I try to guide folks, uh, no matter what's going on in their lives, no matter what happens with their jobs, to stay focused and stay driven and stay determined. And I, too, am a troll. I'll be on your social media. I'll be following you. I'll be lurking always because I want to make sure that you're focused on the task at hand. Um, I think you'll do very well. <laughs> um, and I just want you, you know, like I said, for the first two weeks, just focus on your nutrition guide 
um, and do your best effort because I know you're not in, uh, you know, awesome physical shape yet, but you'll get there. Um, and everybody else, uh, you know, they come in in the same uh, uh, situation as yourself too. But, um, you know, any questions that you have for me um, that you like to share with the world? I mean, I don't think there's any questions that I have for you per se, but I do want to just say, you know, to the world um, that, you know, I, I tremendously applaud you and everything that you're doing. Mm -hmm. um, number one, you went on your own journey and then you saw fit to um, really support others mm -hmm. who want to go on a journey as well. Mm -hmm. And I believe that that's tremendous. You're a young man doing a, a huge thing. Um, and, and I believe that, you know, in the African-American community, you know, oftentimes we may not um, focus on fitness enough. You know, I think I see a shift, certainly with the millennials. Mm -hmm. um, however, you know, I believe that, um, you know, what you're doing, your messaging, your uh, approach, um, I think that it should be applauded and that, mm -hmm. you know, I just I just I, I'm, I'm grateful, mm -hmm. like I said, to um, to you for wanting to go and reach back um, right. because sometimes, you know, you know, sometimes people don't because it's not necessarily their call. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, and, and I'm not holding that against them, but, you know, I thank you for, you know, answering your call and supporting us so that we can uh, live healthier and better lives. Yeah. Thank you so much for that, man. And, um, you know, it seems like every time I bring on somebody new, it's like me reliving my journey all over again, because one thing I teach you guys is, you know, I struggled for about five years before I ultimately got over the hump, but through that process, you know, I was so destination driven, I didn't enjoy the journey. So I make sure you guys enjoy the journey. It's tough. Um, I'm going to be in your face. Uh, we're going to have some high, high and low moments, but that's a part of the journey. And I don't want you to ever forget there. Forget that. Excuse me. Um, you're going to grow significantly uh, and you're going to be able to do a lot more stuff. Um, and, and I'm looking forward to seeing you transform. But I'm also uh, appreciative that you decided to select me of all the people in the world. And, um, and, and we got a lot of work to do. So my final question for you is for somebody that's on the fence, um, that's deciding if they're looking to finally uh, fully commit to their health, what can you share to them to make their health a priority now if they were on the fence? You know, I would say this. I would say just take just a few seconds. Mm -hmm. And close your eyes and try to see yourself five years from now, 10 years from now, 15 years from now. Mm -hmm. And if you can't see yourself in a picture five mm -hmm. years from now, 10 years from now, 15 years from now, and you can't see yourself because you say, I know how I feel on a daily basis. And I don't know if I could continue to live and thrive the way that I am, you know, currently, then that's your answer. Absolutely. Do something now. Mm -hmm. You have to understand that you've only, you're only given one life. You're only given one vessel, one body. And because of that, it's up to you. It's your responsibility to take care of that one body that one life, that one vessel. And there are no Louboutins, there are no, you know, um, Gucci bags, there are no whatever your thing is that's more important than living. Mm -hmm. And so that's what I would say. I would say mm -hmm. that they should really envision, you know, where they will be in the future. Right. And so um, th th those are my thoughts. Okay. Good stuff. I really appreciate you uh, doing this live with us. Um, you know, my goal is always to showcase, you know, that I work with real people. Uh, we get real results. Everybody goes through the same process. And that's the mental health and wellness effect. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, follow us on Facebook at Mr. Health and Wellness. Or if you're interested uh, in the program, feel free to click the link in the description box. Thank you guys so much.